The last command I want to cover in detail is the sort command. The sort command is an unusual filter for a couple of reasons. First of all, its name describes what it does. That's pretty unusual for a Unix filter. Second, it doesn't take regular expression patterns, which makes sense because the sort command doesn't search for anything. Instead, it simply rearranges lines in a file. The sort command works as you would expect. To sort the phone list, you simply type sort and the name of the file you wish to sort. As you can see, this sort command sorts the phone list by last name. Or at least it appears to. Let's take a closer look at the output. You'll notice that the name St. Clair has sorted in front of the name stare. That means that sort put an uppercase C before lowercase a. By default, sort organizes things based on the ASCII character code. In ASCII, capital letters sort before lowercase letters. If instead you'd prefer a different kind of ordering, you simply have to identify which one you want based on the selection provided by sorts options. Sorts dash F option tells it to sort the lines ignoring the case of the characters it's comparing. If you run the dash F option on the phone list, as I'll show you, Note that the output of the dash F option to sort puts stare above St. Clair, because with the dash F option, A would sort before capital C. Sort has a large number of options. They're listed both in the course manual and again in the course text. I'd also recommend that you look in the documentation on your system to see if your sort command has some additional local options. You can mix several options on the line to sort several different ways. For example, the dash lowercase r option tells sort to put the output from highest to lowest instead of the normal lowest to highest order. If I run sort dash r on the phone list, as you can see, the dash R option told sort to reverse the order of the sort, putting Adams last instead of first. However, because I did not put a dash F option on the line, sort put Stair and St. Clair in the wrong order. To reverse the sort and to ignore case requires that I use both the dash R and dash F options. I can combine them together with a single dash, and it works properly. Let me show you. Now, as you see, not only are the names reversed, but Stair and St. Clair are reversed properly. In addition to how you sort the line, you can select where you sort the line. In sorts terminology, we refer to this as identifying the sorting field of the line. By default, you sort at the beginning of the line. In the phone list, that would be by last name. However, suppose you wanted to sort by first name or by phone number. What you need to do is to tell sort where to begin sorting. If you want to skip the first field on a line, again, a field being where a space or a tab separates characters, you can do that by telling sort to skip the first field with a plus one. Thus, the command sort plus one says sort beginning on the second field. Let me show you. Sort plus one phone dot list sorts the line by first name. 
To sort the line by phone number, you would enter this line. Sort space plus two space phone dot list. That says to skip the first two fields on the line and sort by phone number. The sort command has a number of ways to identify how to sort a file and where to begin sorting a file. In addition, you can select different ways to split fields in a line, and you also can identify secondary sorts, which is what do you do if two lines match according to the sorting key that you've selected. All of this is covered in the text, and I'll leave it to the book to explain it to you. This marks the end of the section on the sad awk and sort commands. Review the notes, review the chapters, and then work the exercises in the course manual before continuing on to the next section.